Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Speaker of the Egyptian House of Representatives, Dr. Hanafi Ali Jibali, on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom, where he conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the Egyptian President, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, and his wishes of progress and development for the kingdom. His Majesty affirmed his pride in the deep rooted and historic fraternal ties between Bahrain and Egypt, which are becoming stronger in light of the joint keenness on developing and and bolstering them to enhance joint interests. His Majesty welcomed the Egyptian speaker and his accompanying delegation and asked him to convey his greetings to the Egyptian president and his wishes of growth and prosperity to the Egyptian people. His Majesty the King hailed the historic bilateral relations and the long-established cooperation in various fields, adding that Egypt has always been a hub for culture and civilization. His Majesty asserted that the Egyptian president developed these bilateral relations and that the development witnessed in Egypt is a result of his keenness on advancing his country. His Majesty commended the role of the Egyptian community in Bahrain and his contributions to the development to the developmental process. He highlighted bilateral visits that come to support relations, contribute to the exchange of expertise on the legislative and parliamentary level, and coordinate stances in various parliamentary events. His Majesty praised the Egypt's firm stances led by President Sisi that support Bahrain, noting Egypt's vital role in defending the interests of the Arab nation. For his part, Dr. Jibali expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and congratulated him on the anniversary of the National Action Charter, which developed national work in Bahrain and has enhanced its democratic and parliamentary march. He affirmed that Egypt holds a high status for Bahrain, that the kingdom's development and growth as a result of the leadership of His Majesty the King, and that Egypt, led by President Assisi, always supports Bahrain in all stances. He expressed thanks for the appreciation received by the Egyptian community from the Bahraini people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the UK Prime Minister's Special Representative and Minister for South Asia and the United Nations and the Commonwealth at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, Lord Tariq Ahmed, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom, where he conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his wishes of progress and development to the people of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed Lord Ahmed and asked him to convey his greetings and wishes of success success to the UK Prime Minister and of further progress and prosperity to the British people. His Majesty hailed the historic relations between Bahrain and the UK, which span long years of fruitful coordination and cooperation in various fields, affirming the mutual keenness on bolstering them to achieve joint goals and inspirations. His, uh, no, he noted the uh, UK's efforts in uh, supporting regional security and stability and combating terrorism and its organizations. His Majesty the King highlighted the importance achievements made by the kingdom in enhancing human rights and combating trafficking in persons. He noted that the kingdom, for four consecutive years, obtained the first category in the report of the U.S. State Department on the classification of the most successful countries in combating trafficking in persons as the first country in the Middle East and North Africa, which reflects its social commitment to international standards and its participation with the international community in approaches that aim to combat trafficking in persons and enhancing human rights. His Majesty hailed the development and prosperity in Bahrain in all aspects of life for the progress and growth of its people and the role of Bahraini women, their effective participation in decision making and the developmental process and their assumption of the highest positions. He noted the kingdom's interest in the youth to achieve their aspirations and highlight their compatibilities in innovation. For his part, Lord Ahmed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and for His Majesty's keenness on bolstering bilateral relations. He noted the level of cooperation and its development in various fields, expressing pleasure with visiting Bahrain and wishing it further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Chairman and Managing Director of Lulu Group, Yusuf Ali, to greet His Majesty. His Majesty welcomed the guests and hailed his efforts and contributions to supporting the commercial, economic and investment sector in Bahrain. He noted the success made by the Lulu Group in Bahrain since its launch and the expansion of its activities inside and outside of the kingdom, wishing him continued success.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman and Managing Director of Lulu Group, Yusuf Ali at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the Chairman and noted the retail sector's contribution to Bahrain's economic development. He reiterated that enhancing the Kingdom's economic competitiveness and sustainability will benefit Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and contribute to beating the goals of the comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. For his part, the chairman of Lulu Group expresses appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to developing the kingdom's economy. He also wished the kingdom continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain on the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter, the NAC. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that Bahrain is celebrating the anniversary of the NAC, which is a special historic occasion, as it always invokes the agreement between His Majesty the King and the people of Bahrain on the national constant and prioritization of the national interests as part of His Majesty's reform project, which is an ideal model for those who wish to advance their nations. His Highness added that His Majesty the King presented an advanced uh, philosophy in reform through His Majesty's reform project for which uh, the NAC is the basis. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that those who follow up on the Kingdom's achievements as a result of His Majesty's reform project and adoption of the NAC will realize the ideal model that His Majesty the King has presented. His Highness added that the Kingdom's current achievements and gains are just a fraction of His Majesty's ambitions and hopes to continue the process of growth in the Kingdom. He expressed honor to pledge to His Majesty to continue working to achieve His Majesty's aspirations, hopes and visions towards further growth and prosperity in various fields. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Al Saleh. The Secretary General of the Shura Council, Ahmed Al Asfour, read the council's statement on the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the National Action Charter, where the Shura Council conveyed its congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of Bahrain. The council approved a draft law on Bahrain's accession to the Agreement on Immunities and Privileges for the Organization of Islamic Conference currently the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. The Council also approved a draft law ratifying the status of Arab Union for Nature Reserves. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa received UK Prime Minister's Special Representative and Minister for South Asia, the United Nations and the Commonwealth at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, Lord Tariq Ahmed, in the presence of the UK Minister to Bahrain. The Minister briefed the guests on the Ministry's efforts to ensure public safety and affirmed that human rights are an important part of the Bahraini culture, supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He was also briefed on the implementation of the provisions of the alternative sentences presented by Director General of the General Department for the execution of alternative sentences, Sheikh Khalid bin Rashid Al Khalifa, in which he addressed the achievements made in this field and the types of those penalties and how they were implemented during the corona pandemic. A documentary film was also shown about the Human Rights Committee at the Ministry of Interior and its role in spreading the necessary legal awareness among the ministry's employees.
The National Action Charter reinforced the rights of Bahraini women through a number of principles and values which ensured equality, justice and equal opportunities, which motivated them to contribute to the development of various fields and sectors. More in this report. Bahraini women in their various positions have received wide, noticeable and unprecedented attention from His Majesty the King. They received special care from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, along with the great and unlimited support from the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women. The Bahraini women succeeded in reaching the highest positions, becoming the head of the legislative authority, a minister and many different managerial positions with efficiency and competence. The achievements of Bahraini women are present and at the heart of Bahraini society, and these achievements are thanks to the National Action Charter, where the formation of the Committee for the Preparation of the National Action Charter included six Bahraini women. The National Action Charter contributed to the empowerment and advancement of Bahraini women and laid the first building blocks that made them contribute to the achievements in many areas of work and achievements, which made Bahraini women an essential partner in the development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain. And the president of the University of Bahrain affirmed the pivotal role of the National Action Charter in laying the foundation for a flourishing educational field. More in this interview. National Charter created a great improvement in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And it started with for the University of Bahrain with the issuance of His Majesty's order to reduce the fees for the student. This uh, 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 order opened opportunities for all citizens to continue their education and improve their social and economic status. This opportunity also uh, uh, created more uh, uh, colleges, more programs to uh, offer for the students so they have variety of, for, of uh, programs to choose from. In addition to that, after the, ch the National Charter, uh, there was an opening for the private sector to be in the higher education. And there were many uh, uh, universities that were established, whether national or uh, uh, international universities, and they offer good pro pro programs to the citizens. In addition to that, uh, now we offer, as the University of Bahrain and some of the uh, uh, univ private universities, a uh, higher education program, postgraduate program. So the citizens, they don't have to travel abroad in order to get the good education and the postgraduate education. Uh, that also was another uh, 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 satisfaction of the citizen to have all these opportunities in the kingdom itself. The uh, government uh, even looked further to produce uh, quality education. That's when the uh, uh, establishment of the Quality Assurance Authority for Education and Training so that they supervise and review all the education system and the training system and uh, we are uh, uh, confident in having great uh, opportunities for education for all citizens and even for any uh, uh, non-Bahrainists here in the kingdom.